for me, I thought I thought that was uh, very memorable. That was the World Cup in '98. The reason for that was actually that was the very first game that I really watched. As in, I really took the time. I woke up in the middle of the night and just saw it because everyone, my friends, were all going for Brazil, and I thought I really wanted them to win as well. But I just had this feeling, right, that France were going to walk away. And I actually did tell my friends, because all they were, I have to say that they were all betting. And um, I was telling them, I don't think so. And I had a feeling that France were going to win. And I actually said out probably three goals. Three, because it was my favorite. And I said it out. But no one believed me. So when I watched it, it was really true. So after that, everyone wanted to bring me, or asked me, wanted me to predict stuff for them. <laughs> I do believe that Man U have a strong background. It's not just because they print nice t-shirts, you know, it's far beyond that. The, the, the club actually have a rich history. So if people are to support them and they go crazy, it's their choice. Be, I mean, we, we can label people whatever way we want to, but the fact is, if they enjoy it, why not? And what is sports all about? It's about being good sportsmanship, having fun, you know, being competitive, it's all that. And if you have the spirit going on, if people are going for it, it's very good. Extremists are always not great, you know. It was good to, have, to draw the line somewhere. Mm -hmm. But it is good to be passionate about things as well. And it just depends on how, how far their passion goes. But I've known my friends, you know, those, especially those that grew up in the UK, they are so crazy over a particular team and they supported their entire life. And not only in UK, I think in Malaysia as well. What happens is that if the team loses, they will cry, you know, they can't eat for days and things like that. To say they're fanatics, yeah, probably so, but they're definitely passionate and they love the team. So I think it's a good thing. I think there'll be two. One of it was when I did the um, UEFA Champions League. That was really interesting in the sense that we actually travelled around Malaysia, uh, different parts where we meet, met up with football fans and um, basically just to talk about UEFA Champions League. And um, it was actually ongoing at that time and there were competitions being held. So if you have won that, you actually get to go to Moscow to watch the game. It was that was nice because I couldn't enter the competition and there were so many of those questions that I knew the answers to mm -hmm. obviously because I was asking them and I couldn't I couldn't answer any of it so that part was you know I, I thought it was really exciting you could see people really um, going for it trying their best because first of all they love the game they love the teams and of course they love the sport and they actually get a chance to you know win a trip to Moscow so we went around doing it and you can see everyone was just so jovial and just so into it. The, the other one was when um, Chelsea actually uh, Chelsea actually came to Malaysia. I think Samsung brought them in and Henkin as well. And there was a, a match that went on. So I watched that. I brought a couple of friends. We went and watched it. That was interesting. I think that would be a good way to measure the reason for it. I will not say get rid of the human. I don't think so. You should have that as well. But for me, I feel that as human being, you get distracted at times, you know, and there could be things that you overlook. So I think with the technology, it is more spot on. If they've done it for tennis, why not do it for this? Everyone has their views. They want to have the more conventional way. Then probably they want to do it, the just having humans look at it and that's it. What is the downside of it? What is so bad? you know, if you're going to have that. I feel it's not that bad a thing. Um, but I will not say that you completely get rid of human. You know, we can't run by chips and what electronics and IT all together and there's no human factor. You can't. Now, otherwise, you just have all the robots playing football as well. Right. But I think this, to aid it and to, um, to help in this matter, I think it could be a good idea. I'm hosting about seven TV programs. She just came back from a shoot earlier on. I do mostly on cars, bikes, motocross. I'm mostly in Malaysia, but I've gone overseas to do it as well. But those are more towards Ferrari and Porsche Career Cup. And I've done uh, MTV Fresh New Day. And this year you see three of my movies out in the cinema. And they are London Calling, shot in UK and Malaysia. 
uh, Jean Naughty that's with Maui and Farah Fazana. And the other one, it's um, it's funeral party, but I just met up with the director, Glenn Goy. He told me they've changed the name, so I'm not too sure what the new name is. Yeah, but it'll be out, uh, I think, in October, that one. Um, that's a common question. If you ask me personally, the reason why I made the switch between, uh, from being a child accountant to the entertainment is to be an actress, actually. To be an actress. To be an actress. But so far, I've only done six movies, and I've done a much longer list of TV hosting and an even longer list of MC jobs. Yeah, I enjoy them all. But if you ask me, I would want to be known as an actress. I do have my website and that's www.shamainpoo.com. Shamainpoo is actually C-H-E-R-M-A-I-N-E-P-O.com. And uh, I'm actually launching my blog very soon. Yeah, it's, it's been said I'm supposed to launch it much earlier, but it's been delayed a little bit then yeah, it's going to be up soon. And of course, Facebook is there. Okay, Sherman, we're going to test your football knowledge. Very simple process, true or false? Okay. okay. Ten questions. Okay. Are you ready? Not quite, but I'll try. Okay, first question. <laughs> Manchester United won the treble in 1998. True or false? False. Correct. Well done. Oh. See, not that hard, is it? <laughs> Dimitar Berbatov used to play for the German club at Bayer Leverkusen. True or false? True. Do you know the answers? Okay. No, because okay, that yeah, was that, false, so this one should true, be true. true. Okay. <laughs> now, question number three. Fabio and Rafael da Silva have represented Portugal at the under-18 level. True or false? I, I think that's false. Okay, you're doing very well. Three out of three. You're on fire at the moment. Okay. Manchester United's latest signing, Zoran Tosic and Adam Lalic, both originate from Serbia Montenegro. Who are the names again? Adam Lalic and Zoran Tosic. True. Was that a guess? I recalled something, but I can't really remember where, but okay. I think I'll go with the true. Yeah. Yeah. Is well, it, is if it was a guess, it was a correct, correct guess. One, okay. okay, it's true. Four out of four. George Best, question number five. George Best. Is Manchester United's all-time leading scorer true or false? True. That's Ooh, wrong. Incorrect. Your first question, that was false. Never mind. You're bound to make a mistake somewhere. Everybody does. Question six. Your favourite player, Cristiano Ronaldo, is the third Manchester United player to be crowned European Football Player of the Year. True or false? False. Correct. He looks like you are a Ronaldo fan. <laughs> okay, question number seven. Manchester United's nickname is the Devils. True or false? False. Correct. Manchester United's <laughs> Korean international, Park Ji-sung, was originally from Japan. True or false? Oh, false for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Park is no that Japanese. Is, yeah. Okay, question number nine. Manchester United used to play their home matches at Main Road. True or false? False. Ooh, that's true, my dear. Oh, true, okay. Okay, that's... Never mind. Okay, final question. Mm -hmm. Final question. Peter Schmeichel captained Manchester United to Champions League glory in 1999. True or false? True. Correct. Mm. Eight out of ten. Well yeah. done, my dear. That's better than most of our celebrities. Is it A minus minus? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, it's not like the exam, so it's Yeah, it is. It was a bit like that. Uh, okay. Sweating a bit. Okay, well done. Did she get a prize? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is no prize. You, the prize is your pride. So, congratulations. Eight out of ten. You've done very, very well. That was good enough for me. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. <sighs>